It can be argued, for example, that in many countries, actually, uh, uh, like in West Africa, the average age of the population is basically under 40. So technically, give or take a few years, everybody is youth. And uh, all the policies that are, uh, that are youth po policies are actually uh, policies of employment for the whole population. So one has to be very careful. Also, when you talk in a macro sense, it's sometimes very difficult to know what will be the policies geared towards just, just the youth and for the broader population, because the economy will make sure that resources flow from one to the other, there will be competition and so on. But having said that, there are some things that we can do to get the youth going. Uh, we can make it easier in terms of taxation for the companies, for example. We can, uh, we can educate a little better some of these, uh, of, of these young people. We can, uh, we can even have the slate of hand of government doing a few things in a very smart kind of way. Let me say this, which is a, a bit of a stretch. Going back to history, in the 60s, governments tried something called National uh, uh, Youth Service. That at the time looked like something that was useless and so on. Some blamed it for being socialist. But actually, in some countries where it was done right, it provided skills, uh, post-secondary skills, the kind of, uh, of things you need to actually operate. And then, of course, created very cheaply opportunities for learning a few skills for a lot of young people that are not available today.